in this video we are going to learn about what does this fitting line the best fitting line that we have looked into does and what are the different terminology that are related to regression analysis which are quite important for our next fields so the fitting function that is the line that we predicted in our previous class so if you could recall the line that we predicted this best fitting line for all the points that we had nearby it so this line serves two major purposes so one is for interpolation and other is for extrapolation both are your prediction both, both are used for your prediction one for interpolation what we mean by interpolation is estimating the missing data within your data range extrapolation is just the opposite of it you can estimate future data outside your data range let's look into example of interpolation so, interpolation means finding out the missing data so if we fit out an straight line between all of these five points so again these are the feature this is a feature which is again date and these are the predictions or the target variable target variable this might be number of students number of students okay so for 2001 we have some point 2005 we have some point let's pull and straight line for this if we pull a straight line touching nearby all the points okay so this is a straight line you know it's not quite straight but let's assume that this is a straight line now what the use for this straight line might be is for interpolation so if i have to predict out what will be the number of students or what was the number of student in 2003 this point so i can say that the number of students that uh, passed out in 2003 are nearby 1.35 this might be 1.35 somewhere same thing if i have to predict it out for 2011 i can just say that this oops, this point over here that we have this point over here so this point is again somewhere 1.75 so if we plot this out we can get the missing points the next thing is extrapolation extrapolation is finding out the future data data that uh, is not predicted yet for the years for this problem for the years that are not yet came so for 2015 or for 2017 we can just predict it out how again just put out in straight line if you put out a straight line so we can just say that if we just call these out somewhere over here one point and for 2017 we will be having somewhere over here so we can say for 2015 it's again somewhere between 1.95 and for 2017 it is roughly 2.25 okay so we can just make our machine learning model to predict that at 2015 please note that 2015 is a date that our system hasn't seen yet so 2015 it has predicted that 1.95 million student will be graduating with a master's degree and at 2017 it will be 2.25 million so that's all about interpolation and extrapolation before we end this up there are some terminology that are related to regression analysis that you should be known first one is dependent variable dependent variable from the previous example that we looked into we have number of years number of years and number of students so can you just guess out what is the dependent variable and what is the independent variable so number of years is the independent variable 
and the dependent variable is number of students so from this graph itself you can see that whatever the year will be the value of the number of students will just gradually increase or decrease so this value is totally independent and whatever we are predicting is the dependent variable okay once we look into the equation for linear regression it will make more and more sense so dependent variable the main factor in regression analysis which we want to predict or understand is called the dependent variable just as i have told you it is also called as target variable let me write this out you can also call this target variable independent variable the factors which affect the dependent variables or which are used to predict the values of a dependent variable are known as the independent variable these are also known as predictors so in the future if ever i use predictors or features so these are some of the words that i am mentioning so i'm just mentioning independent variables and if i'm using target variable the meaning is dependent variable outlier is an observation which contains very either very low or very high value in comparison to uh, other observed value so let's look into the previous example let's say for 2008 rather than having a data point over here let's change the color rather than having a data point over here let's say we have a data point in 2018 over here and again on 2011 we might be having not over here but somewhere uh, over here itself again we might have one more outlier over here okay so let's cross this and we have someone over here so the new line that we will be predicting is not this red line but it will be somewhere in the lower part okay this line is not okay because we have outliers these are known as the outliers right now it doesn't look much because it is not affecting the model much because we have majority of uh, the points somewhere but if there are a large gap in between so rather than having 1.4 okay or 1.6 in this range we can say that some point might be over here so some point uh, later point in 2008 it might show that uh, there will be 6 million okay again not this one but again in 2008 it might show 6 million student so this point is again an outlier because if you look into the data it is not quite clear if it is possible or not so these are something which will affect our model so make sure always to uh, look into what your outliers are and do a bit of feature engineering next is multi collinearity if the independent variable are highly correlated with each other than other variables then such condition is known as multi collinear so rather over here the previous example we had only a single feature that is a single predictor but in a case where we have different predictors so number of years or then we might say GDP some more okay let's take this two example and only one target variable that is two okay over here if these two are highly collinear then this then there will be a problem for our machine learning model next is underfitting and overfitting we'll be having a dedicated video for this but as of now just remember that if our algorithm works well with the training data set but not well with the test data set then such problem is called overfitting and if our algorithm does not perform very well with the training data set then such problem is called underfitting that's it for this video next we are going to start with linear regression